winter storm warning. Heavy snow expected. Heaviest accumulations will occur tonight through Tuesday morning. Travel will be very difficult to impossible. A winter storm warning for snow means severe winter weather conditions will make travel very hazardous or impossible. If you must travel, keep an extra flashlight, food and water in your vehicle in case of an emergency. And that is exactly why I love living in my van. What's up YouTube? This is Chad with Living the Van Life up here in Washington. Northwest Washington State is currently under a winter storm warning. Most of the time I'm setting sail for the mountains anytime there's a winter storm around. This time the winter storm came to me right here in town. When a winter storm hits here in town, it's the perfect opportunity for urban stealth camping in a winter storm. And besides that, I just like getting out and pushing my limits to see what I'm capable of myself. And I also like pushing the limits of the van, seeing where I can get it, seeing what it can do. It's just fun getting out there and getting in the extreme. <laughs> Now the first step to surviving any sort of winter storm, it's going to be shelter. For me, my shelter is my 1991 Volkswagen Westfalia. With the amenities available in a van like mine, there is plenty of storage for extra food, extra water, extra supplies, anything you're going to need to be able to survive a winter storm. The foldable bed in these vans provides an excellent spot to sleep comfortably. While I do have a diesel powered heat source, I always do prepare myself with enough bedding to be able to get myself through a cold night just in case the diesel heater runs out of fuel, runs out of battery power, whatever it may be, I want to be prepared with enough bedding to get myself through a cold winter night. That actually brings me right to the subject of my diesel heater. In my van I have installed a Chinese made diesel heater that I got off of Amazon for $170. It is such the perfect heat source when it comes to staying warm in my van safely during a winter storm. For more details on the installation of the heater inside my van, check out the video link in the upper right hand corner. If you guys are interested in this heater for your van, for your RV, whatever it may be, I'm going to throw a link down in the description below the video. Make sure and check that out. Next on my list for a proper urban stealth camp in a van is my tinted windows. The installation of tinted windows on my van again has probably been one of the most important things I've done for van life. With this extra dark tent, not only does it make it nearly impossible for somebody to see inside, but it also prevents anyone on the outside from seeing the curtains drawn closed. Seeing closed curtains on a van is a dead giveaway that somebody's living inside of it. And with the combination of dark window tent and your curtains drawn closed, it holds back the majority of any sort of light coming from inside the van in a nighttime situation. Across the front of the living space in my van, just behind my front seats, I have black curtains installed. This provides privacy from the front windshield while leaving the front seats open as if the van has just been casually parked for the night. When it comes time to finding a camp spot in an urban stealth situation, my philosophy lies in hiding in plain sight. Here on this street in town, there are multiple different vehicles parked here overnight. There's apartments here, so it's people that live in the apartments. So what I do is I pull my van up and I park amongst these vehicles and try to remain as inconspicuous as possible. On all of my winter camping videos, I like to set a thermometer outside the van. That way we can compare the outside temperature to the inside temperature and see exactly what that diesel heater is doing for us. Before we jump in the van, let's go check out the temperature outside here. So it looks like that temperature is sitting at about 25, maybe 26 degrees Fahrenheit. Let's jump inside the van and see what it's doing inside there. Inside the van, we are just over 70 degrees Fahrenheit. That is about 23 degrees Celsius. 
nice and comfortable here inside the van with the diesel heater running. This is the inside of the van. I've got the bed folded out here. You can see the bed here in the Westphalia makes for a nice comfortable spot to be able to stretch out and sleep. With the diesel heater on it makes it nice and warm and cozy. Like I said in case of emergency, in case the diesel heater fails in the middle of the night, I do have enough bedding here to be able to keep myself warm even in these cold temperatures. As you can see I've got all of the curtains here in the van closed. That's important for a couple of reasons in this type of scenario. A, it's going to keep our privacy. B, together with the tinted windows, it's actually blocking all of the light. Also, the third reason of why I keep the curtains closed is because I've actually found through trial and error that just by closing these curtains, that you can raise the temperature inside the van up to 10 degrees warmer because of the airspace that the curtains create between the cold windows and the warm interior of the van. With the red LED light strips inside the van, it makes it great for urban stealth camping. The red light doesn't seem to admit as much light outside the van together with the curtains and the tinted windows. The key here is don't attract attention because of the lights from inside your van. Now my other favorite tool in van life has got to be my jet boil. With being able to boil water in less than 60 seconds, it makes for the perfect cup of tea in the most convenient way. It's also great for making oatmeal for breakfast in the morning. Nonetheless, it's an excellent bit of kit when it comes to survival in a winter storm. For now, it's just making a nice cup of tea. Well, just as we were coming inside the van, that snow was beginning to fall once again. It's expected to snow fairly heavily over the night, so I'm going to kick back and enjoy this fresh cup of tea thanks to the jet boil. Thanks for watching this video, guys. If you found this video helpful, click the like button. Leave a comment down below with your feedback and share this video with anyone and everyone. Honestly, it's those little details that really help get these videos out to the masses. As always, if you guys are ever interested in any of the gear that I use here in van life, check out the list of gear along with the appropriate links in the description below the video. Guys, peace out. Keep on trucking.